Hi guys, I'm Dr. Hans and this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and homebrewing. Do you want to learn more about beer and homebrewing and how to become a better homebrewer? Consider becoming a subscriber. Here on my channel you can expect grain to glass videos like this one. I do like experiment videos, DIYs occasionally, beer events and yeah tasting videos so if that sounds interesting consider becoming a subscriber today we're doing the fifth episode in my room with coffee mini series and today we're doing a chocolate coffee stout so we're gonna look at the brew day and then we come back and taste the beer and also run through the recipe so let's start the brew footage Here we have three and a half kilos of Maris Otter, 500 grams of Munich malt, 500 grams of wheat malt, and we have 250 grams of Special B, 150 grams of acid malt, and 300 grams of uh, dextrin malt. And as usual, the dark grain comes later. Let's get this crushed. This is 800 grams of uh, dark malt, it's 400 grams of chocolate and 400 grams of carafa 3. Uh, I won't be using the coffee grinder today, the spice grinder, call it what you want, uh, because of the amount. So I'm using uh, the mill, doing top mashing as uh, yeah, you could say usual now. Okay, 20 minutes of top mashing, it's passed. Let's go get this barge water. And we're gonna sparge up to uh, when we hit the pipe here, that's about 28 liters. Let's get this gunk out of here. 
don't like it as usual I know I don't have to do this step but there's dual advantages in doing this for the dual purpose first off I keep an eye on the boil so don't get uh, any boil overs and number two it makes me able to sleep at night because I want my beers looking clean all the way look much better uh, did over sparge just a bit had a very low efficiency on this so I'm gonna start the timer gonna do 60 minutes boil I'm uh, gonna start it at uh, yeah when we hit the, the max mark there Prota flock and yeast nutrient ouch Also added uh, the war chiller to sanitize it. Soon time to uh, hit. No, I need to add the uh, whirlpool uh, device as well. This is almost 150 grams of cacao nibs. So I'm gonna grind them up in the coffee grinder. Two uh, chocolate bars, 100 grams each, 70% cacao, and 41 grams per 100. Fat! Wort is transferred over to the Fermentosaurus and now uh, just giving it a one minute blast of oxygen. I have a timer here. Slow steady stream through the um, what do you call it aeration stone oxygen stone it's an uh, 0.5 micron stone you find the link in the description box beer is in the fermentosaurus and the fermentosaurus in the fridge um, yeah The source is pressurized. I'm gonna hook up the spandet valve, but uh, everything is set. Spandet is hooked up and the thermometer. So, uh, let's see if we can dial this in. Spand it down there. No, the thermometer down there and this band it hooked up. Okay. All dialed in. Fine. Okay guys, here's the result. It's a beautiful dark looking beer and the head sticking on very nicely. So, is fat really a head killer? I'm gonna talk about this beer, uh, run through the recipe. We've always been told that fat will kill head. It's a beautiful head. One finger head, it has died down a bit. Uh, it has been sitting for uh, can be just under 10 minutes since I poured it so so it has died down a bit but I wouldn't say it has no head <sighs> flavor wise flavor okay let's give this one a nose okay yeah chocolate I won't say coffee so of course 
more chocolate than coffee. Okay, I have the recipe also, so we're gonna run through the recipe. But first, let's dive into the beer. <sighs> smells really awesome. Cheers, guys. There's more coffee on the taste. It's a really clean fermented beer. But it is a lager, so... Can you brew a stout with lager yeast? Yes, you can. Should you do it? It's up to you. Do you have to do it? No. So it's a coffee, chocolatey, easy drinking beer. It's a little too bitter from... Um, I think the coffee. So, I'm gonna run through the recipe, but I think I added like 150 grams of coffee while the wort was still hot. So, uh, and uh, yeah, it is a balancing act. We're gonna run through the full recipe, but because uh, you will have bitterness from the hops, and also there's a lot of. Uh, uh, cacao nibs and it's, uh, you saw the chocolate bars in this one and coffee so a lot of ingredients that brings a kind of bitterness to it it's a really nice beer but uh, i would have preferred it just not as bitter so maybe i did add too much uh, coffee and too much uh, chocolate Instead, I could have done a cold brew with the coffee. Yeah, let's run through the recipe. And uh, as usual, the recipe is already up on my Patreon site in the uh, Dr. Hans Brewer book in the stout section. It's called the Chocolate Coffee Stout. I'm gonna put a card up and uh, a link down below to my Patreon site. You can check that out. So for this beer, I'm gonna give you the uh, ingredients in kilos and also in percentage. So for this beer, I used four kilos of pale ale malt. This is a normal size, 23 liter, five gallon batch. And that's about 67%. I used 500 grams of wheat malt. That's about 8%. I used 400 grams of carafa two. That's about 7%. I used 400 grams of chocolate malt. That's also about 7%. I used 300 grams of carapils. That's 5% and I used 250 grams of special B, that's 4% and I used 150 grams of acid malt, that's 2.5% for pH adjustment. Hops wise, I used Polaris. Polaris is a really high alpha acid, so I just used it at 60 minutes, 15 grams. Uh, Polaris has an alpha acid at 21% so it's high according to beer smith gave an ibu of like 30.9 so 31 ibus in the 30 area i added 200 grams of chocolate bars 70 percent cacao with 41 percent fat and i used 150 grams of cacao nibs which i grinded up and added at five minutes yeah, and also the chocolate bars were added at five minutes. After I started chilling, I added the uh, the coffee. The coffee was uh, kindly the, the coffee was uh, kindly donated to me by Fredrik from uh, Café Rosterit Koppa. I'm gonna put a card down below. I did visit uh, Fredrik at Café Rosterit Koppa. It's a Swedish uh, coffee roastery. If you haven't watched that video, I will put a card up uh, to the playlist. The, the first one I went over at my local coffee roastery and yeah, he's sponsoring me with some coffee. Nice. And I did ferment this on an old yeast cake. You heard that a million times now if you aren't new to this channel. But I'm doing like this long term experiment and yeah, I will present it in the future. So I'm reusing the yeast. 
this is a mix I've been using with uh, Mangrove Jacks Bohemian Lager and Saf Lager. I always screw up the figures, so I'm gonna put them up there. It's like the 34, 73, I don't know. Yeah. Back to the beer. Maybe you shouldn't be too worried about fat in your beers, because this has a lot of fat in it. Two bars of chocolate with 41% of fat, and that's 200 grams, so that would be like 82 grams of pure fat in the beer. And the coffee has oil in it as well, and the cacao nibs are full with fat, so... You see, there's still head. It's not a massive head. It was when I poured it, it was a, like a two finger head that was poured from the tap. Off the sitting, like for between five and ten minutes, there was still a finger head. So it's not like over carved either. I usually do carve my stouts a little bit more than others, but it's not over carved or anything. But you see, it has carbonation. So maybe we shouldn't be so afraid of fat in our beers because I really don't notice any difference with this beer. So guys comment down below have you an experience with brewing with call it fat or fat really a head killer or is it just one of those myths? I don't know. This contains a lot of fat and still it holds head so I wouldn't be worried I want to do like a peanut butter beer someday so uh, I could many people when brewing with peanut butter they take the other route and use like a dry powder non-fat uh, because of you don't want to lose the head retention but this head This recipe is, is really solid. I think what I would recommend if you want to change anything, this do a cold brew instead of the coffee and add it that way. And uh, that should take away that little extra bitterness. I have been lagering this for uh, quite a while. This was brewed in like yeah, so this is, has been sitting in the keg for like two months of lagering, so uh, it needed some time because it was even more bitter at start. So I would recommend this for this one. You can add some more coffee even if you're doing cold brew. Uh, maybe do like, you could easily double the amount if you're doing a cold brew. So do a cold brew. Add it after uh, the beer has chilled down to like uh, under 70, something like that. Or do it the, the way I've been doing it. Do a cold brew, take the uh, brew up, the cold brew up to 72, then add it straight to the uh, chilled down wort. So then you have pasteurized the cold brew and uh, just brings it up to 72 and the cold wort will uh, kill off the heat. Still head guys! So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel, please consider becoming a subscriber. If you want even more content and recipes and more like a vlog style, there's my Patreon page to check out and of course all of my other videos. So cheers guys and thanks for watching. Dr. Hans out!